All right, let's work on this heat transfer problem. And here we have a sphere right here. And it has a diameter of 10 millimeters. And we have air at a temperature of 25 degrees Celsius and with a velocity of 25 meters per second blowing over it. And they want us to find uh, the drag force on this sphere and the heat transfer rate from the sphere. Alright, to start off the problem and start looking for our drag force on this sphere, we're going to have to make a connection back to our knowledge from fluid mechanics. And this formula comes from there, where we have the drag force equals CD, that's the drag coefficient, times the area, and the area would be the reference area here, would be the plane down right at the center of the sphere, so basically the circle. And we have density, velocity, and there you have it. Now just to mark it, let's uh, put the force here that would be acting on this sphere, just so we have it marked. Alright, now let's see, what do we have? Do we have everything in this formula or not? We are looking for this guy, FD, drag force. Uh, our drag coefficient, we don't have it. Our area, yeah, we have that one. Our density, we're going to have to look that up in our property tables. Velocity, we have that. Good. All right, so let's take a look at our properties. For the properties, we're going to be able to find them for this formula at the film temperature. For us, that would be 25 plus 75 divided by 2. That's 50 Celsius converted to Kelvin, 323 Kelvin. Now, before we go to the property tables, let's look at what else we're going to need. Our drag coefficient. Now, to find this guy, our drag coefficient, we're going to rely on this chart. And this, is, uh, this can be found in our textbook or, if not, at this uh, reference right here. So, we need to uh, find our Reynolds number in order to be able to use this chart and then find our drag coefficient. So let's go ahead and find that first. And here it is. There's the formula for it. Everything plugged in and there's our Reynolds number. Now, here we needed the properties again, right? The kinematic viscosity. So just like the density up here, these are all at film temperature and that's what we found right here. These are calculated at film temperature. For my table, I'm not sure how your table is, I had to interpolate for it. So there's the two values that I found. Now coming back to this chart right here, 1.4 times 10 to the fourth. Well, that would be, if I look on my chart, well, this is not really accurate, okay? So I'm uh, just roughly drawing it here. Yeah, you're going to have to check that in your own textbook. I can show you the charts and everything for copyright reasons. So there it is, but the the numbers are not copyright, right? Those are properties of materials. So uh, where were we? Reynolds number. Look on the chart, and this is going to give me a drag coefficient of 0 0.4. I marked it right here too, so we can see it. And there you have it. Now, we finally have this guy, and if you look at our formula, we have everything we need right now. We can go ahead, plug in everything we have, and find our value. And here it is, our drag force on this sphere is 0 0.011 newtons. Also, you can see, I forgot to mention, but the A is pi over 4 d squared is basically just the area straight down the middle of my sphere, the one that's facing the wind. All right, this was the fluid mechanics part of the problem. Now let's come back to heat transfer. They want us to find the heat transfer rate from the sphere to its environment from 75 degrees Celsius at the surface of the sphere and then we have the air at 25. 
right off the bat we should start thinking what kind of problem are we dealing with here because we're gonna have to find a formula right so uh we have a heat transfer and in heat transfer we have conduction convection radiation we have air blowing over a surface some kind of geometry right so that is convection so not radiation not conduction we are not in a duct we are not in a anything like that so not internal flow it's external flow is this, is this a flat plate or a blunt body not a flat plate we have a blunt body formulas uh, we have for cylinders we have for spheres this is a sphere so we're not interested in a cylinder and for sphere we know that we're gonna have a formula by Whitaker and that's what we're gonna be shooting for let's see how we're gonna be able to use it so here's the formula that we're gonna start out with the heat transfer rate is equals flux times area the area is the surface area of this entire sphere now expand it out my flux for convection is h times ts minus t infinite and times the area now let's expand the area as well area is the surface area of the sphere which is 4 pi r squared or pi d squared and there you go that's what you see here now here it is this is the Whitaker formula this is what we were looking forward to and we have everything we need from it now in our previous setup up here we can see that the only unknown is actually our h and this is where we're going to be able to find our h because ts we know t infinite we know pi we know diameter we know and we need to find this guy so we're going to use whitaker's formula solve for h and we're going to be able to find it but first there's a lot of stuff in this formula we need to find the Reynolds number, Prunkton number, dynamic viscosity, two different ones, uh, diameter and kinem ki conduction coefficient. There you go. I almost couldn't say it. Now, one thing we need to remember when we're working with this formula is that all the properties from the tables that we need to get, we need to find them at T infinite, at the temperature of the fluid except this guy right here the uh, dynamic viscosity this one we need to find this one at uh, infinite and but this one at the surface temperature of the material okay so we're gonna have to find those and a Reynolds number again we're gonna have to recalculate it the one we found here we found this at film temperature this formula will rely on T infinite properties so we're gonna have to redo that so let's go ahead and find properties okay here it is uh, all our properties that we need to find at t infinite kinematic viscosity prompter number dynamic viscosity and uh, conduction coefficient and we also need to find dynamic viscosity at the surface temperature so those are everything we need so first step now that we have our new kinematic viscosity let's find our new Reynolds number the one based on t infinite right 1.6 10 to the fourth then we're gonna use this large formula I'm gonna use this side and the middle part I'm gonna solve for h that's what you see right here now we have everything we just checked it we found all our properties so we can go ahead and plug them in I ignored all the units because uh, this thing would be a mile long so after we calculate this monster we find that our H average is 200.1 watts per meter square Kelvin yay we found this one now we can come back to our formula up here and we can find our heat transfer rate there it is this is the same formula as we had up here i just plugged everything in and there it is our heat transfer rate is 3.14 watts right here and there you have it 